Hello, this is Jean-Luc with Solar Light. Let's take a look at the PMA2200 and how to use it. I have my sensor plugged in and we have it up and running and if we look up top we can see that we're getting data. If I use my units button I can switch between all the different available units that the sensor comes with. If I use stop start clear, this integration symbol, I can use the dose feature. This is going to be the big thing that you're going to want to get out of this. On the bottom, we're going to have a continuous dose that counts up for the accumulated energy that it gets over time. If I switch my units while I do this, I can switch between all the available units I once had and see the dose in the different representations. Let's look at some additional features that we have. Average is just as it says. We can press the button and we can get the average reading over a time period, which can help a lot of people if they are stumbling over getting numbers that are jumping around too much. We have hold, which will freeze the input. See how it's blinking? If I move my sensor now, it'll stay at that same input no matter where I go. This is also handy when you do the dose feature because if I have my sensor under a light source, I can hit hold and then move the sensor away and this will keep counting my dose even though I can be across the room. Also, we have this set 100% up here. This is going to be good if anyone's doing transmission data. It's going to switch you over to a percentage based off of what the sensor is seeing. If you don't have this application though, this might seem a little weird. Our final thing I could show you is this set zero. It also works with the 100%. I'm gonna hit that 100% one more time. Now we're back to normal. Now this set zero is going to take my reading and it's going to count whatever it sees at that moment as its new zero. This also has different applications with some different tests that this can perform.